okay so today I'm going to share about how to render from uh, this sketch so I would like to check if my perspective is right by flipping it okay I think it's nice and, uh, let's start so the first thing we want to do is uh, add new layers right here and we'll be using pen tool so here's another trick you can see that it's really hard to see the lines so I want to add black colors and then reduce the fill or opacity which one is the same and then start making pad now that you can see It's really clear now where the line is. Okay, so 
I think I'm done. Okay. Uh, now you want to save your path by go to the path section and then drag it to the down there. Okay. Now, firstly, we want to give it the ba give it a base color. So hide the black or the black layer, and then add new layer. Okay, and select the path, the overall car sh shape. Then right click and make selection. Then okay, and then make sure everything's right. Now you pick the color my preference is the light gray so i need to lighten it up a bit okay because we want to add some darkness so if it's black or a bit too dark the shadows won't be too clear okay so let's start uh, with the greenhouse okay Make selection and then this one. And then this one also. Okay, oops. Now add new layer and then fill it with black. Okay, now the next thing is. The door area then add new layer again and then fill it with black color and this area also I want it a bit dark I'm adding a gradient there. And then add new layer again. This one for the finder lip. Make sure you add new layer each time you want to add some color because it will be much easier for you to edit it Okay, so in the front. now the front I will add the nice. hole. It's a little bit different with the sketch, but it's okay. And things done. And now we want to give selection some volume to the car. So I selected the whole area of the car. And then pick uh, dark color. In this, in this case, it's black. Oops, I think I picked the wrong layer. Make sure the layer is just below the front hole, the front air intake. Okay. Cleaning it, cleaning it up a bit, and then lighten it up a bit because we don't want it to be too dark mm -hmm. okay now so for the headlight i want to give a mm -hmm. little bit darkness in the front area near the greenhouse because the design is the greenhouse is get into the front bonnet so it's a little bit 
star in there. I'll put some gradient. Okay. Okay, I think it's nice. Okay. Now so we want something. to give highlights because it's too dark so I put the sketch back to the top and then change the layer style to multiply now you can see that we can see the area where is the highlight okay now, now that's the use of the lines in my sketches Okay. To the path here, selection. Okay. So select the area for the highlight and then add a layer. So you can see. Again, don't forget to add a layer. This is the shape. It will be much easier. So and I will explain it in the next. So put some white. Don't worry for the bleed okay because we can erase it see this one see this one and then adjust it again it must be well erase it seeing eraser okay follow the sketch and I don't want it too white I don't want I don't want it to be Super white, shiny, too shiny. So darken it a bit. Now we'll add some highlights. So, so now I'm going to give a uh, shadow to the side of the car. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just clicking the brush, and then transform it to the shape of the body. It's going to give a good gradient. Okay, this is a simple trick, but it's very useful. I adjust it. Okay, now clean up. And from the front fender, I think I will need to reshape it. So, we transform it, selection, and then warp tool. Let's see how it looks. Okay, there's a gap. I don't want it. So I think I will redo it. Don't make too much uh, 
movement on the meeting point I think that's nice I just clean up a bit okay now we are going to make the same for the front after cleaning this side of the car okay Now the front, the same thing, new layers and then brush, then transform it, then reshape it uh, according to the contour of the car. Now we will make the same thing in the rear fender. As you can see my direction of the shadow is uh, accordance with the contour of the surface. I'll clean up a bit now here's the reason why we want to make it separated so what I'm doing here I want to blur it blur the highlights because i don't want it to be too sharp because it's gonna look so cartoon so weird so just blur everything and it will make a good blend and for the front area a little bit shaping and i think i will change it to black this area and then the other side I will make it uh, highlight I think that's, that's nice Now the rest of the video will be much more about detailing and some reshaping and I put black background just to show the shape of the car and what I'm doing here I'm just reshaping the other side of the car and just to make sure everything is just right okay now clean up the fender area now I'm adding some highlight in the rear fender because I think I forgot it okay just clean up a bit make sure it's just according to the contour of the shape the surface add some glare to the highlight it's gonna be it's look awesome okay I think the side area is a little bit too flat and I'll add some value 
to add more volume now the front area is a little bit too flat the bonnet so I'm thinking of adding some highlight to it now a car is not complete without a tire so what I'm doing here I'm just giving some black area showing that there's a tire in there okay so I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you learn something from it and see you in the next tutorial